Good morning, yarn tubers. Welcome back to Wonderless Crochet with Dana and very busy man right there, Mr. Dooley. Yeah, he's a very busy guy. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, fairy, fairy winner this morning. Okay. So what happened here is Carol Meinhart, um, emailed me and she just wanted to nominate, um, a very special fairy. Well, come to find out that's her fairy. So I'm trying to block out that backlight cause I forgot to shut it off. <laughs> I'm learning how to film here in the hotel. So what happened? She nominated Lisa from Happy to Hook Crochet. She was my secret Santa. I love Lisa. Okay. So, what? I, so I, I've already watched this. So watch this. Wonderless Crochet is Carol Meinhart. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah. Maybe so Carol um, yeah, was her semifinalist. Right. So. Is celebrating God's love for us by the birth of his son Jesus. Oh, that is so Here's nice. Christmas in July. Good luck, everyone. That is so nice. So, <clears throat> Carol and um, and Lisa, I will be mailing you guys as soon as I get the addresses. I will be ordering you guys each some LOC and some scrub buds and the spray bottle. Um, greatest products ever. Greatest greatest products ever you can wash your crochet projects your quilting um you can you know wash pretty much everything wash your dog wash your dog's dishes wash your horses watch your wash your horses tanks and feed bins if they're washable um and you don't have to worry about it you know the runoff because it is actually beneficial for the environment it's actually good for it i used to spray my roses with it um a lot of people when they you know let's say they do something in a in a bowl of water with some loc in it and they wash something they take that water and they pour it either in their garden or in their potting soil and their plants it's wonderful stuff wonderful stuff so and um, I know that crocheters can use it because we wash our stuff. You can wash it in LOC um, and it won't hurt you. So the links to LOC um, either, you know, um, for Pat and Dee Dee's link is in the description box and my link is in the description box. So you can go look at the ingredients. Okay. Okay. So thank you, Carol, for nominating uh, Lisa couple of really great gals there all right so I only have three more now I haven't responded to the last email yet but girl I I gotcha so I have my next one is going to be um anonymous she wants to remain anonymous and then um Wilma aka stitched by Jean and then I've got another one uh, a late entry um, who emailed me the other day and I haven't got back to because I'm really bad about email management. Okay, so and um, Cindy from Cindy Hearts, I gotcha. It's just, it's it's going to take me a while to do what you asked. Um, maybe I'll work on that this afternoon, but you know, right now I'm kind of into getting over there and working on that blanket right there. Got to get some crocheting done while I'm here and find out whether or not my truck is ready today. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is the Pacific Northwest Yarny Social um, in the Dalles, Oregon this fall, September 30th through October 2nd. For those of you who haven't heard of it yet, the link to that document is in the description box. Um, if you can't open it, please email me and I will just copy and paste it to you. Um, it's probably easier to do that. Just email me, say, hey, I wanna go to the PNW Yarny Social and um, or I want to at least read about it. If you're just curious, I will send you that information. It's $45 a person. I'm not charging for husbands because um, sometimes they come along as babysitters. They've probably got the kids out by the pool and bringing you food or, or whatever. Um, maybe they're your designated chauffeur. <coughs> we got to um, keep those people with us. Um, like another gal, she emailed me from the Dells. You know, we've got crocheters that live right there in my my hometown um, who, like this gal, um, she has a caregiver, um, like her, you know, constant helper. So uh, I'm not, 
you know, charging that helper $45, um, she's a care, you know, she's the extra. She's coming to, you know, just be there for this gal who needs her caregiver with her. That kind of thing, um, you know, if, if you're not able to go to these things without a caregiver, then pff, heck yeah, I'm not going to charge for that caregiver, right? Um, but just, you know, the initial, the crocheters, the knitters, you know, the people who are, who are there to attend the event, those are, you know, and that is only to help me pay for all the, you know, goodies that everybody's going to get and, um, you know, do some room comps for our special guests and, um, you know, pay for the room, <laughs> the ballroom, you know, I have to pay for the ballroom, um, to reserve it for us. Okay. So that's what's going on there. And who's coming? Um, a gal from Imperial Yarn out of Terrebonne, Oregon. Them, you might check out imperialyarn.com and check them out. She's coming to give us a little um, talk about what their what their passion is. And um, also, Selena Baca and guest are coming from the American Crochet Association, right? very excited about that and I'm very excited about Imperial Yarn. Um, I've heard from some other um, YouTube uh, content creators. Uh, hopefully they're coming um, with all that they've got going on with their channels. So it's this is going to be so much fun to meet some great people, not only Selena Baca and guest <clears throat> and Imperial Yarn, but also all the knitters and crocheters that are coming to attend, right? I am getting so excited and I'm working on, you know, more details about that while I'm sitting here in the hotel room. Plus getting caught up on all the LOC and scrub buds to ship out. I'm a little behind. I need to get the Amped Coffee shipped out. I got the Platinum Performance taken care of for Tracy. Amped Coffee and the Planner... Donna Collins, girl, you got to get a hold of me. <laughs> of course, she was in California taking care of her mom. So um, hopefully she gets a hold of me this week and I can get that Crojo Corner Planner sent out to her. So I picked that winner on Friday. So uh, yeah, I'm so excited. And I've got all these people. So I've got three more um, fairies that I'm going to do. So that'll be, um, this one is Tuesday. That'll be Wednesday, Thursday. And then Tuesday of next week will be the last one. So. We're having fun. I mean, you know, we're getting paid. We're getting breakdown pay and we're sitting here crocheting. And yesterday I went down a, you guys know what craftsman style is in, in design, in like home designs and stuff. I went down a craftsman style rabbit hole and I screenshotted all these pictures and oh yeah, I'm getting so excited for the end of the month. I'm so excited gonna have a big announcement you guys have probably figured out what it is because I can't keep a secret when it comes to things like this so Dooley has been fed and walked and of course I'm reading and <clears throat> doing videos and crocheting and I am keeping very very busy so anyway Pacific Northwest Yarny Social thank you Carol and Congratulations to Lisa at Happy to Hook. I'll be getting those orders placed for the both of you. Carol, I'm going to need your address. Lisa, I, I don't know if I have your address. If, if, if it's on your um, YouTube channel, I'll grab it. Otherwise, I'm going to need it. Okay? Okay. I love you guys. Bye.